today we've got a little project with the X Max. We need to investigate a problem I'm having with the machine. Now, when I drive forward, it sounds like it's clicking or ticking, and when I steer or brake hard, I get a grinding or kind of almost like a snapping sound coming from the front of the machine. So we're going to have a little look and see what's causing it. I think we'll start with the front differential and just have a look in there and see if there's any problems. I've also gone ahead and ordered myself some parts just in case it was the differential. So let's get cracking. We'll take the body off and I'll show you how easy it is to get to those components. Right, so now we're at the front of the machine. It's quite as simple as taking two screws out on the bumper. So these two here. And this one here. And then we need to turn the machine over. And remove the four skid plate screws underneath. Okay, from here, the bumper will actually slide off. And comes free like this. Okay, so we can put that aside for now. We can turn the machine back over. And now we are focusing on removing the differential cover, which is here. I'll bring you in closer so you can see. Okay, so we have one screw here, one screw here, one screw here, one here, and one here. Five in total to remove. And that will give us direct access to the differential in the front. Okay, so now the differential cover should come off. There we go. Give it a little wiggle. Differential cover comes straight off there. And as you can see, we can now get access to the differential. Okay, let's try and remove this then. Okay, so we've removed the front differential assembly. Oh my goodness. Yep, straight away, I can see that there's one tooth missing here. There's half a tooth missing there. One missing here. Crikey. So that's why I'm getting clicking and snapping sounds from the front. Let's have a little look at the pinion gear front assembly as well. So I'm just going to try and pull this out as best as I can. Okay. Doesn't look too bad. I can't see any initial damage on it there. Let's have a look around and see. Holy smokes, there's a tooth missing just there. Oh my goodness. Okay, yep. Yeah. So it confirms my suspicion that the front ring gear has uh, gone and the pinion gear as well. So we'll replace both of these two. The part numbers you'll need are 779, Traxxas replacement part, and that is a ring gear differential. And also you will need the 777 pinion gear differential for the front. Okay, let's go and fit these now. Well, first things first, let's put the, um, the pinion gear back in. This will be a nice and easy one. Because that just slides straight back in. Okay, so this is how it looks. I'm hoping it's an upgraded part without the uh, chance of this happening again. Let's look at the differential ring gear now. Right, so what I can see are there are one, two, three, four screws to take out. So let's do that now. Okay, the next part we're going to remove is this part here. Okay, there's actually an Allen key screw at the bottom of this. Okay, remove that. Keep the screw inside so it's nice and safe. Okay, and that gives us access to remove the bearing. And now we get direct access 
to the differential. Okay, so we actually need to remove this centre part, as you can see me pushing it through. And then we also need the rubber seal as well. Okay, so that's obviously the part we are replacing. Okay, so here is the spare one. Let's get our little rubber washer, put that back in. Put it all back together. Okay, so there you can see we've got one, two, three, and four all screwed back in. Uh, it's all back together. The differential is now working. So now it's about time to put it all back together, really. Let's do this. So as best as possible, I always put one end in first, as best you can, and then the other side as well. There we go. Back in perfectly. Just check that slotted in nicely. It is indeed. So let's go and put the cover back on to hold it all in place. Okay, so it really is that easy just to put the diff cover back on there. So let's go ahead and just finish this off by putting the bumper back on. So we'll put the four skid plate screws back through now as well. And we're nearly done. Actually, such a simple work, you know, truck to work on. Okay, and so finally we'll just flip it over and put the two screws on the front back in. Okay, and there we have it. We've changed the front differential. Okay, so the part numbers for those were 7777 7 and 7779. Seven, seven, They're the two parts for the X-Max. Yeah, I mean, I am quite disappointed that this has happened. To both of these parts but at the same time i have to kind of expect it from the amount of abuse i've been putting it through recently with the jumps i don't think it's over geared now a lot of people think it is and i can kind of agree and disagree at the same time because these things you know online i've seen people doing a lot higher speeds than 48 miles an hour with them but at the same time you know this is completely stock apart from the pinion gear and the spur gear they're the only parts that have been replaced so we're really on six s as always um i mean apart from that it's just a normal body that sits on top you know it's been a very good truck to me so far very strong that's the only problem i've actually had with it with the um the differential at the front going but now that's fixed we can obviously carry on as normal You've got to admit, the X-Max is a bit of a beast, isn't it? It's huge. So to go along with this, I'm actually running two Tenergy 6,000 milliamp hour three cell LiPos, 6S. So let's put them in, turn this on its back, just see how it's sounding now with the new differential installed. That's better.
say without any reasonable doubt that that is fixed. Thanks for watching guys, as always I'll see you next time. I'm Jake Bullion, take care for now, please share these videos. See you later. Oh yeah!